A patient with classic reactive arthritis often presents with a unique triad of symptoms that develop one four weeks after gastrointestinal or genitory, genitourinary tract infections. Can see, can, pie, can pee, can climb a tree. Yes, to remember, it's a mnemonic to remember. Can see conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis, conjunctivitis or, or uveitis, uveitis or eye inflammation. Can pee, urethritis, painful urination. <laughs> Can climb a tree. That means asymmetric arthritis, typically in the large joints of the lower limbs. When a patient presents with can climb a tree, arthritis, and intensely painful hot and swollen joint, it perfectly mimics septic arthritis, a true orthopedic emergency. This creates a critical diagnosis, diagnostic challenge. The shocking fact is revealed when a joint aspiration is performed. The synovial fluid is teeming with inflammatory white blood cells, looking just like an infected joint. However, when the, that fluid is cultured, no bacteria, my beloveds, no bacteria will grow. The joint itself is sterile. This makes the joint aspiration not just a helpful test, but an absolutely critical one to differentiate a joint needing urgent surgical washout, septic arthritis, from or from one needing and says reactive arthritis. I don't know. You name it, ibuprofen. So the joint is sterile. What's causing the problem? This uh, reveals, my beloved, the final and actually fascinating layer of the disease, a ghost infection. It's a ghost. So the arthritis is delayed, cross reactive immune response to another pathogen like as chlamydia or salmonella. That is often long gone and even asymptomatic. The immune system is essentially fighting a ghost in the wrong location. So the deeper cause, the, this raises the most profound question, my beloveds. Why does the immune system make this mistake? So question for Nobel Prize. No, uh, we suppose uh, points to get gut joint nexus. The initial infection likely causes an imbalance in the gut microbiome, interstitial dysbiosis, which acts as an underlying trigger that confuses the immune system. While our current uh, treatment suppress the inflammation, the future of management uh, may lie in addressing this root cause to prevent the autoimmune reaction from ever starting. That's all. Stay blessed for the moment.